boards and bags, you two. It's time to go. I'll get your lunch boxes. Oh, shouldn't you be opening up the cafe? There'll be a queue forming by now. People will be wondering what's going on. Well, they're not the only ones. I was hoping to have a word with you about all these last night, but you nipped off to bed early. I, I can't wait any longer, Brenda. What are they? Just a few odds and ends. A few odds and ends? Honestly, there's a, you had a couple for them down here. But I don't want to jump to conclusions, but you're not stealing again, are you? Look, I haven't got time for this now. The twins will miss their boss. Later then, yeah, because obviously we need a conversation about this. Come on, you two, chop chop. Well, we talked to a new brief and they're pretty confident we can get live out on licence in two months. I just don't seem right. I mean, I know Liv didn't do herself any favours in court, but how can Gabby get in community service, be fair? It's not. But while we're waiting, we need to support Liv. She needs to know we're doing everything we can. So, so you're moving out today? Look, I'm sorry for the short notice. Well, none at all, but, well, Sam and I think the timing's right. Oh, but, um, Arthur, I don't want you to miss your bus. Go on. Oh, no, no, I... no, no, I'm talking to Lydia. I'll see you later. I'm sorry for springing it on you like this. But what with Lisa gone, and Sam's really worried about his dad. And I want to help and try and take the pressure off a little bit. But no, I totally understand. It's just a bit of a surprise. They'll be lucky to have you. Oh, I'll pay me rent till the end of the month. I don't want to leave you high and dry. Oh, no, don't worry. To be honest, we could do with the space. Anyway, I hope you and Sam are very happy. Oh, thanks. Right, I'd best be off. I'm going to go see if David's got any boxes I can pinch. Sam will be here in a minute. He's not for me back. <laughs> I sit down. You've hardly said a word. But you haven't got a test, have you? No, it's just... Mum says I can't go on the school trip. Everyone else is going except me. Oh, that's a shame. Did she say why? Just like we can't afford it. Oh, yeah. Grown-ups worry about money sometimes. It takes a lot to run a family, you know. I don't want to make a sad, but I really want to go. Of course you do. Why don't you take this? Call it a gift from me and Bob. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You deserve it. Thanks. Go on in the tree. Go on in the tree. Still no sign of Dad. Probably had a few too many. Crashed on Chaz's sofa. Except he had to go to malt shovel again. Stop forecasting him about Lisa. So you've spoken to him? How is he? How do you think he is? You should have told him about Lisa. You could have tried to make things right, stopped her from leaving. Seriously? After the way he treated her? Lachlan, just leave it. Yeah, well, never know now, will we? Thanks to me, you mean? This isn't Belle's fault. I can't stand around here yakking. I said I'd pick Lydia up, give her a hand with her stuff, she's moving in. Today? Wow. Don't waste time, do you? Well, she wants to come and help out. Now Lisa's not around. Someone's got to put family first, haven't they? Don't listen to him. All right? He was only doing what your mum said. Yeah, and now everybody hates me. Look, I can cancel the meeting today with Priya if you want. We can get out of here. Do something together? No, it's fine, you go. I'd rather be on my own. I'm off at Butler's this morning anyway, so I thought I could give you a lift in. Maybe lunch at the pub later? My own personal vet stroke taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Listen, I'm just gonna grab my stuff. You sure you can put it with him for two minutes? <laughs> Well, if it isn't love's young dream, eh? If you're hoping for some a long time. No, I was just offering your brother a lift to work. You're very welcome to join us. Uh, no can do. I've got a doctor's appointment later. I've uh, got Moses. So, um, how are you? Just peachy. You? All loved up by the sounds of it. Doesn't mean I don't still have bad days. You all right? Yeah. Would be if she'd stopped throwing herself at me. It's getting embarrassing now, kid. I would say you get used to me. All right, come on, you ready? Yeah, back right with you, yeah?
Are you sure I can't tempt you with a Danish to dunk in this? Ah, no thanks. Alone at last. I never thought we'd get a moment to ourselves. Yeah, well, I like to keep busy. Like stocking our cupboards with stuff we don't need, you mean? Only the last time random things started appearing at the house, you weren't exactly paying for them, were you? Is that what you think, that I stole them? Well, it's not just that, because I, I know that this happens when you're, when you're stressed and when you're, you're struggling to cope. So if you did, what does it mean? Don't be so stupid. Of course I didn't steal them. OK. So why are they clogging up our cupboards? Because I'm looking after them for a friend. She doesn't want her husband to see them before his birthday. The world's longest hot water bottle? Or well, maybe it's a private job. Oh, great. You're both here. Yeah, good guess, yeah. We both work here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw I got a bit of a coffee date with Jesse later, and I was hoping you might have April off to school. Oh, I'm sorry we're both working, aren't we? And the twins were at mates. Mm. Yeah, but if you have your date in here, then maybe we could uh, talk music for the wedding. Yeah, great. I'm sure Jesse would appreciate the heads up. So. Yeah, I love a bit of Motown, mate. Nowhere to run to, baby. And know it. Or maybe something altogether more appropriate. Before you make any more daft suggestions, haven't you got a cash and carry to go to? <laughs> oh, hi. I don't suppose you know where Arthur is. I forgot to give him this and I thought I was busy listening to Lydia. <laughs> But now I'm here, I might as well give it to him myself, actually. No, no, it's all right. I'll get it to him. Thank you. Oh, actually, I'm glad I've seen you. I could do with your signature. My signature? Permission slip for the school trip. You would not believe the red tape hell that would be unleashed if I didn't have it. Do you want to just come through to my office? Sorry, I don't understand. <sighs> OK, put it like this. Without it, my risk assessment is kaput, and we don't want that. <laughs> you just need to sign a date. I did explain to Arthur that, um, we can't afford it right now. Oh. Oh, he had the cash earlier. He gave it to me in person. That'll be my dad. I told him not to interfere, sorry. I don't mean to talk out of term, but I think Brenda might have given it to him. Brenda? Why would she do that? I'm sorry, that's all Arthur said, but if you want to sign while you're here... No, 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 sorry, there's been a mistake. But he's already paid the money. Yes, and I'm going to have to ask for it back. I'm sorry, but Arthur can't go. Do you know what I need? A life edit. Don't know why I keep all this stuff. I mean, who needs an inflatable parrot with a puncture, right? I know it's a mess. I'll have it cleaned up before you know. Eh? No, no, it's, it's not that. I, I'm really glad you're moving in. Just wish it were under different circumstances. Have you heard from Zach? Yeah, he wants me to take some clean clothes over to Malt Shovel. Is it going to stay on a mate's sofa again tonight? Are you still worried about him? I just wish he were back here where he belongs so I could keep an eye on him. Best make a start on this lot. You won't even know I'm here, I promise. Whatever. There's no need to be rude. It's fine, Sam. No, she should be grateful. Lydia's moving in so she can help us. I'm done, I'm, I'm tired. I'm not here to take over from Lisa, if that's what you think. I just want to help out with the family. Help out. And what are you doing, eh? Apart from walking round in a mood. It's your fault Lisa's gone. What, you think I wanted you to go? It was really scary when she had her angina attack and I was worried if she stayed here, she could have got worse. Sam hates you. Lydia hates well, what you. About Lisa's dad? gone. You should have stopped her. He thinks he's lost Lisa for good. Aren't you bothered about that? D don't you care about him or not? Of course I do. What if he can't manage? Or, or if he gets ill again because of it? I'm sorry. Then tell us where Lisa is. No, I can't. I promised. Hey, look, come on. All this arguing, it's not helping anyone, is it? Bow, bow. You can't ignore us. I'm going to go and see my dad. Someone's got to look out for him.
I mean, if it was terrible, I might just have them dry and just like... <laughs> Cornflakes would be my date. Might stop your belly rumbling, though. I'm going to say during the non-existent date that I don't have. After. No yes. dates. Kellogg's Cornflakes. When's your perfect bowl? Hi, I'm Keith Lemon. Join me this week on Celebrity Juice Mouth. Joined by Jake Wood, Christopher Ramsey, Scarlett Buffett, Fred Silliax and Gino DeCampo. I'm trying to cut on a little bit of this. <laughs> Banking new celebrity juice tonight at 10 on ITV2. Here's to chip pinches, here's to family. McCain sponsors Emmerdale. Linda, um, I just wanted to give you this back. It's the money you gave Arthur this morning. It's a very kind offer, but, um, I can't accept it. Didn't seem fair in missing out. <laughs> Believe me, I hate disappointing him. Yeah, but he's the only one not going. He was stuck at home when all his friends were out having fun. Even so. Please take it. So you're going to let Arthur suffer, are you? It's not what I want, but how I deal with my family is down to me. I think it's a bit late to start thinking about your family now. You could argue that you lost your right to moralise the day you jumped into bed with my husband. Ah, oh, right. OK, that's what this is all about, is it? Do you want to punish me? I'm just saying that people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Yeah, Brenda, just a favour and drop these, would you? Is everything all right? Well, the wound seems well moisturised and the scar's healing nicely. Keep up the good work. Why does it still hurt so much, then? There's no sign of any infection, either on your face or the donor site. If anything, I think it's time to look at reducing your pain relief. Are you for real? I'm in agony here. I can't even sleep a full night without it waking me up. Try not to worry. We'll take things slowly, monitor your progress. Do you have any idea? What this feels like. The longer you take pain relief, the more danger there is of your body starting to rely on it. So my options are either take them or be in agony. It's way too soon to reduce the dosage. Look, I just need a few more to tide me over. You only had a repeat prescription last week. That really should be enough. Oh, so shut up and suffer, right? <sighs> if it's too much, there are things we can do to help you. Oh, it's fine, I'll be all right. Writing this down, are you? I managed to get your occupational therapy appointment changed to tomorrow. They'll measure you for a facial conformer. It should soften the scarring, make things feel less tight. How does that sound? Great. Can't wait. All I did was try and help Arthur go on his school trip. Most people would be grateful. And all I'm saying is that you should have asked me first. She has got a point, Brenda. Does she? So, so I'm in the wrong? No, no, what you did was very kind. But imagine... Well, I walked Arthur to the bus stop this morning and he barely said a word he was that upset. Poor thing, missing out. And I feel terrible, but I can't afford it. Is this to do with a stolen credit card? No, it's not. No, it's... Well, it won't be forever. It's just until I've paid a few unforeseen bills. All the more reason to cheer the lad up. I don't want the money back. He had no right to go behind my back. Please don't do it again. Well, that was an overreaction. <laughs> Thought I might make us a bite to eat, if you fancy. As long as it involves pasta and corned beef. I might have to do a bit of shopping while I'm at it. I'm not hungry. I know me moving in must be dead annoying, right? You've got enough on your plate. But I'm here to help, honest. Anything you need. What? No, you... you do whatever. Sam didn't mean what he said. Sounded like he did. 
He's just worried about Zach. Lisa leaving has really hit him hard. What if he's right about my dad? What if it could make him ill again? Oh, I'm sure it won't. Everybody's stress levels are through the roof at the minute. That's understandable at a time like this. But give everyone a chance to calm down. Once it's sunk in, things will look a lot better. You'll see. Yeah, well, she's lying. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. But like I said, anything you need, anything at all. Are we boring you? Hmm? Is there somewhere you'd rather be? Yes. I mean, no. Obviously, talking to you two is the highlight of my day. Yeah, you're pushing it a bit there, Marlon. Come on, Spill. Got a bit of a date with Jessie later. Nothing heavy, just a coffee and a chat, and we'll see how it goes from there. I don't suppose you could do Have April after school for a few hours? For your love life, how could I refuse? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I'm keeping everything crossed. <laughs> don't you think it might be a little bit weird going oh. out with April's head teacher? No weirder than her singing at Bob and Brenda's wedding. I mean, <gasps> how's that even come about? Are you kidding? I mean, she's got an amazing voice. I bet you she blows our minds. Uh, sounds like she already has. <laughs> <laughs> All set. Give Liv my love, won't you? And tell her I'll visit soon. Let's just see this nugget in all its glory. <laughs> Any excuse, eh? Oh, I'm excited! Oh, tell her she can be a bridesmaid and all, you know, she can pick out her own dress, a big peach meringue. I'm sure she'll love that. Really give her something to look forward to. Hey, careful. Just because I'm deliriously happy does not mean I'm not dangerous. <sighs> right, uh, I'll be back in a second, we'll go on you. He's nervous. I know. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but, um, I'm glad he's got you looking out for him. Oh, Bob, I really mean, know. I don't want to talk about this. Well, neither do I. But what happened before, Brenda overstepped the mark. She had no right to go behind my back to Arthur. You heard what she said? She was acting on impulse. Oh, well, that's all right then, is it? What was I thinking, pulling her up on it? Look, there are... I shouldn't say anything. There are reasons she's like this. What do you mean? Has she told you? Well, not in so many words, no, but I'm not daft. I can see the signs. I think her cancer's back. What? It's the only reason I can think of to explain her behaviour. She, she's distant. Oh. She's been having these headaches. No, 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 no. Last night I found this oh. cupboard stashed full of stuff. I mean, there's boxes of it. Everything from a cordless screwdriver to a, a high vis bike helmet. And you think Brenda's stealing again? Well, something's wrong with her, yeah. I mean, she's fobbed me off saying they're not hers, but she I know. She knows about us. What? Not this again, Laurel. Look, she stole my credit card and she bought all those things to get at me. Bob, she knows the truth. Everything. Oh, home, James. Right, you sit here and watch some TV. And I'll make us some cheese on toast. <laughs> and then we'll get your train set out. You know how much Uncle Pete likes it lying around. Right then, do you want tomatoes? Yeah. Good lad. Make some smiley faces, yeah? Oh. oh Uncle Pete's left the bread out. Well done. How many pieces do you want? Take that as two. And I'll have two as well. You okay? What are you doing out here? Eh? No, nothing. I, I went out right for a walk. Let's get you inside, I don't want to. 
going. It's okay, you don't have to. I'm here, all right? Everything's gonna be okay. So Brenda stole your card, and she bought all this. Yeah. Hard to believe, but, yeah. So when you called the police to report it... They did some digging, and they managed to trace the orders. I mean, Brenda wasn't great at covering her tracks. Mm. But once they showed me that all the orders were being delivered to the cafe, I knew it was her. <sighs> Laurel, I'm so sorry. I mean, it beggars belief, doesn't it? But hang on, so she could be arrested? Oh, no, no, it won't come to that. Once I realised it was her, I knew I had to lie, so I just said it was a mistake. They weren't exactly happy about it, but as far as they were concerned, no crime was committed. And that's when you talked to Brenda? Mm. Oh, why didn't you come to me? And say what? Your wife is making me suffer for our affair. We were over and you two were making a fresh start. I wanted her to know that I knew. Hoping that, you know, we could draw a line under it and move on. So she knew about us all along? Not that she admitted. I mean, she stood there and made me feel like I was lying. But I knew. She knew. I could tell. I mean, why else would she do it? I've been so stupid. I should have realised. All this time. How could she hide it so well? Well, maybe she just wanted to forget it ever happened. Give you another chance. But if I'd known, if you'd told me that you'd actually spoken to her... And what would you have done? Had it out with her and ruined any chance of you two making a fresh start? No, 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 don't you see? This changes everything. Brenda knows. The worst part's over. What do you mean? Well, what do you think I mean? We've got nothing to hide anymore. We can be together. And we're back to Emmerdale in half an hour.